Well, what about Chris Christie? Uh, you know, he's also come at you pretty hard. Do you expect that there's going to be some moments where you're going to want to put him in his place? He's doing very well in New Hampshire. I think he surpassed you in some of the polls in New Hampshire. He is not engaging at all in Iowa. Well, look, uh, br bring it on. People can people can do what they want. I can tell you this, though, Martha, of anyone on that stage, uh, I'm the only one whose sole purpose is running to be the 47th president of the United States and to reverse this country's decline. I'm not running to be vice president. I'm not running uh, to be in the cabinet. And I'm not running to be a contributor uh, on cable news. Uh, we're running to win and that we're going to show people that we'll get the job done. What an electric natural answer from Ron DeSantis. He's not running to be vice president, he's running to be president. He's not running to be in the cabinet, he's not running to be on some cable news network. Man, what original thought from Ron DeSantis. You guys might see where this is coming from. Uh, there is a super PAC, at least his PAC, never back down. One of these is supporting him. Uh, talk about ways that they can go after people like Chris Christie. It just kind of popped up. Why don't you guys remember what he said about how he doesn't want to be a cable news pundit? Like Chris Christie, uh, this is some of the suggestions that the PAC said that he could use. Uh, maybe say this, Ron, Trump isn't here, so let's just leave him alone is what one memo suggests. He's too weak to defend himself here, we're all running against him. Here's the, here's the best line. I don't think we wanna join forces with someone who uh, on this stage who's auditioning for a show on MSNBC. Look at that traitor, non-Republican. Uh, also early in that interview, uh, Martha McCollum asked DeSantis about the super PAC memo that had some of these suggestions. And the governor noted that the PAC is separate from his campaign. And he also claimed it's not something that I've read and it's not, <laughs> it's not reflective of my strategy. Maybe it's just coincidence, Ida. Maybe it's just coincidence. I can't read the guy's mind. I'm not sure what he's looked at or what handlers have told him to say. But I would know one thing, if he just is himself, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, what we've seen so far is not a very, uh, uh, he's not very communicative. People don't really know who he is and he's a little awkward. So he has to kind of go off of these prompts. And I think that's a little dangerous to say he does win some high level of office, gets it all the way to the presidency. Uh, we've already seen how he operates in Florida. It's wherever the wind blows and whatever works to get him more power. That's a bad position to be in when you're trying to be president and you've uh, modeled yourself after Donald Trump. You got last thoughts on this guy? I mean, he's trying to he's trying to turn America into Gilead. <laughs> he is really, his agenda is been very clear. I mean, the one thing about him is that he does not back down from any of the things that people accuse him of. He is not uh, his racist yeah. agenda. Uh, you know, his sexist agenda. You know. All I know is that my a great majority of my family is in Florida, and Florida is suffering. Yeah, people, people in Florida are suffering. So, and but he can still brag about Florida. I'm glad you said that. So people of Florida, you've obviously got family there, and he talks about how fascinating, fascinating, and wonderful it is, and all the things they've done. And I was like, I wonder, does. Do people really agree with that outside of actually knowing what he is? Outside of just saying, "Oh, if Ron DeSantis is my guy, everything is wonderful here." As I'm fighting for scraps, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there's many Floridians who don't want anything to do with this guy. So, yeah. he'll present himself as that. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube.com/slash/The Damage Report, and you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.